My name is Jordan Belfort. The year I turned 26, I made $49 million, which really pissed me off because it was three shy of a million a week. Ah! We're making a name for ourselves. Ah! Nobody knows if the stock is gonna go up, down, sideways, or in circles. You know what a Fugazi is? No. Fugazi, it's a uh, fake. Hey, Fugazi, Fugazi, it's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a f fairy dust. Was all this legal? Absolutely not. We were making more money than we knew what to do with. We don't work for you, man. Yeah, my money tape to your boobs. Technically, you do work for me. What's wrong, Daddy? We're watching you bring home. Oh, my God. FBI, any kind of booze you might want? No, the Bureau forbids us from drinking. Duh. So follow me, you could about to go. I'm doing 500, I'm out of control. But there's no way to go. How does this actually work? There's a big money sign. They get launched at the time, they stick. Yeah. This is their gift, okay? They're built to be thrown like a lawn dart. One, two, three! Stop, okay? Safety first. Safety is, safety is first. We don't want to get a bad reputation. So when I saw that this trailer debuted late last night, I thought to myself, who releases a movie trailer on a Sunday around midnight? But then I watched it this morning and understood the genius of the madness. This is a trailer everyone's going to be talking about today because it's fantastic. It looks great. Uh, you know, it's uh, hats off to DiCaprio. I think he picks fantastic projects. And to come off of Gatsby and to kind of tell another story of wealth gone wrong is fantastic. It makes me wonder if we might have a new Wall Street for a new generation. Uh, and it, DiCaprio, you know, he reminds me a little bit of Tom Hanks. While the Academy might not respect him, even though Tom Hanks did have that as well, uh, he has such loyalty from audiences because he picks such great projects time and time again. This is a guy who doesn't let audiences down. If you go see a DiCaprio movie, you know you're going to get your money's worth. And that's an impressive streak. The guy, you know, I think The, uh, the, um, the Aviator was, I think, the last disappointing film that he made. So I'm just really impressed. And, you know, he looks like he scores yet again. And, you know, I, I don't think, as good as this looks, I think competition for Oscars is once again just too hot. And I think, I think Hollywood's a little envious of his success uh, because, you know, he produces these films as well uh, and I, I, I don't know what it's going to take for him to get an Oscar but I don't think that playing a really cool guy with some really great jokes is going to work but uh, so while I, I've come to expect this level of quality from DiCaprio and I'm very excited uh, I have to say what really impresses me here by far and away is Scorsese how fantastic is it that this is an older filmmaker who's able to continually keep up uh, and raise the bar against new filmmakers coming in. Uh, if you told me this was directed by a hot new talent, uh, you know, from the commercial game, I would totally believe you. You know, it has shades of Michael Bay, uh, you know, from Pain and Gain, it reminds me a little bit of that there. As I said, Wall Street. Uh, but, you know, and a, a lot of films that have been out recently, uh, you know, I just, I'm really impressed with Scorsese. It also, it does remind me a little bit of Goodfellas, but it's so well updated. Uh, I, but oh, I will put an asterisk here, though. We don't know if it's just the trailer that might be cut like this. You never know. It could be an old school. It could be old school filmmaking when we actually see the film. But I hope not, because this is genius. This is so great, and I love to see you know talent that's not stuck in a rut and can grow. Even if that rut's fantastic, I mean, it's Scorsese. Anything he does. But this looks amazing. This looks like maybe the film that Painting Game wanted to be, uh, I, and I'm really excited about it. Also. Um, Jonah Hill, he looks fantastic here. I think Matthew McConaughey doesn't look like he's going to make as big an impression as I'd hoped he would. I mean, he looks like he's doing a great job, but clearly it's going to be a DiCaprio Hill movie. And what a clever team up. How great. Some of those lines are fantastic. I particularly liked uh, when Jonah Hill said, since you have that money taped to you, you kind of do work for me right now. Uh, really great. And this is, you know, 
I'm very excited about this. I think it's very well done, and I do f see like just a huge hit, but I don't see any Oscars yet. We'll see if the buzz actually delivers. So what do you think? Do you think everyone's gonna be talking about uh, Wolf of Wall Street this morning? Write your thoughts down below. Do you agree that DiCaprio always delivers? And what do you think of Scorsese? Do you think he's changing it up? Do you like that, or do you think Scorsese, you know, he's for the ages, and he should let uh, the younger filmmakers go all flash and uh, quick jump cuts and, uh, and, and rap music? I'm excited. Uh, I can't wait. Write your thoughts down below. Thank you for coming to be on the trailer, not just for the latest trailers, but these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.